47 Meters Down is a horror thriller film that tells the story of two sisters on a holiday in Mexico. What starts as a fun getaway quickly turns into a horrific ordeal. The sisters, Lisa and Kate, find themselves trapped in a shark cage, 47 meters below the sea's surface. Surrounded by sharks, with their oxygen supply dwindling, they must fight to survive. Mandy Moore and Claire Holt star as Lisa and Kate in this gripping film, which is filled with fear, thrill, and passion. The story begins with Lisa and Kate, who are vacationing in Mexico. Lisa has recently broken up with her boyfriend, leaving her feeling very sad. Her boyfriend left her, calling her boring, which has made Lisa feel down. Kate, the more confident and adventurous of the two, suggests they do something exciting to lift Lisa's spirits. One night, they go to a party and meet two local boys, Benjamin and Louis, who invite them to go shark cage diving. Kate is immediately thrilled and exclaims, Wow, that would be so exciting. However, Lisa feels apprehensive. She is afraid of water and sharks. Kate reassures her, saying it will be fun and reminds her that she always wanted to try something new and adventurous. The next day, the sisters board a small boat owned by Captain Taylor, who assures them that the shark cage diving experience is completely safe. Despite still feeling scared, Lisa is encouraged by Kate, who is excited and tries to keep her spirits up. Both sisters wear their scuba gear and step into the cage, which is slowly lowered into the water. At first, everything seems perfect. They see fish and other sea creatures swimming around them. They're initially shocked to see a large great white shark but quickly become amazed by the experience. Suddenly, the rope holding the cage snaps, and it plunges rapidly into the depths of the sea. The sisters fall 47 meters to the ocean floor. Once at the bottom, both are terrified. Lisa begins to panic, her heart racing, surrounded by darkness and chilled by the cold water. Their biggest fear is that they have limited oxygen and have lost contact with the boat above. Kate, the more adventurous sister, tries to calm Lisa down, saying, Don't panic. We have to save our breath. Despite her words, Lisa's fear continues to grow. Then, they hear Captain Taylor's voice over the radio, telling them to stay in the cage as he is sending help. After a while, they see a torch light shining on the seabed, possibly an extra oxygen tank. Kate decides to go retrieve it. Lisa tries to stop her, warning, No, Kate, it's too dangerous. But Kate replies, We need oxygen, Lisa. I will handle it. Kate leaves the cage and swims toward the light. As she reaches the tank, she sees a large shark approaching. Her heart races as she grabs the tank and swims back to the cage, narrowly escaping the shark's attack. Captain Taylor's voice comes through again, insisting they stay in the cage. Their situation worsens as Kate's oxygen tank is almost empty. Realizing they must act or face suffocation, Lisa gathers the courage to leave the cage in search of another oxygen tank. Swimming through the deep water, her heart pounds with fear and anxiety. Eventually, she finds the tank, but as she returns to the cage, a massive shark appears and attacks her. She hides behind a rock and, with great difficulty, manages to evade the shark. She reaches the cage and hands the tank to Kate. Kate replaces her oxygen tank, and they decide it's time to ascend. Holding onto the rope attached to the boat, they begin to swim upward. As they ascend slowly, a shark suddenly attacks them, forcing them to retreat back to the cage. During the struggle, Lisa becomes trapped under a large rock and starts to panic, shouting, Help me, Kate. I'm trapped. Kate manages to free her, and they both return to the cage, exhausted and terrified. Captain Taylor informs them that rescue is on the way, but it will take some time. Their oxygen levels are critically low, and they are both terrified, unsure of what to do next. Lisa spots a light, thinking it might be a diver coming to help, but instead, they watch in horror as a shark kills the diver. Realizing they are completely on their own, they make another attempt to swim to the surface. In the chaos, a shark bites Kate, and her blood spreads into the water. Lisa tries to pull her to safety, but suddenly another shark appears and drags Kate away. Lisa screams in fear, but she knows she can't stay down any longer. She bravely swims to the surface and manages to escape. When she gets on the boat, she breathes a sigh of relief. But then she feels something strange. She begins to realize that she is still in the ocean. She looks around and sees that she is still trapped in the cage, hallucinating due to nitrogen narcosis. She is almost out of oxygen and soon passes out. Eventually, a real rescue team arrives and pulls Lisa out of the depths of the ocean. She is weak and disoriented. As she is brought onto the boat, she keeps asking about Kate, but she receives no clear answers and is left feeling deeply saddened. The film ends on a mysterious note, 
leaving the audience wondering whether Kate survived and whether Lisa is truly safe. Conclusion 47 Meters Down is a story that takes you to the depths of the ocean, where fear, thrill, and the battle for survival are ever-present. The film illustrates that life can sometimes put us in situations where we must rely on all our courage, patience, and understanding.